Welcome back everyone to Learn Invitation. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 14.3. Okay, so we're starting a new chapter, chapter 14. And this chapter talks about uh, work and the kinematics, all right? So let's see, it says, the crate, which has a mass of 100 kilograms, is subjected to the action of these two forces. If it is, or if it is Originally at rest, determine the distance it slides in order to attain a speed of 6 meters per second. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the surface is mu of k equal to 0 0.2. Okay, so what we can see in here is that we got a crate, we got these two forces that are pushing my crate, and we are going to obviously assuming by the direction of the forces that we're going to slide to the right. Okay. So since it says it slides, that means that we're not moving in the vertical up, neither down, okay? So the first thing I like to do in these problems is write down my givens. So first I have that my mass is equal to 100 kilograms. Then we are told that this crate is at rest initially. Okay, also we're giving the velocity at the end is equal to six meters per second, or at least the velocity at which the distance we want to find. And they're also giving us the coefficient of static friction, of kinetic friction, I'm sorry, is equal to zero point. Okay. So now we wrote our givens. The next thing I'd like to do is to draw a free body diagram. Okay, so free body diagram. So that way we can perceive our problem entirely. So we got our creed that looks like this rectangular shape. Now the first force that I always think of sometimes is the weight. Okay. We also have the opposite of the weight usually, which is the normal force. And then we have the two forces that are given to us, which is equal to a thousand newtons in the direction similar to a three, four, five triangle. Okay, uh, let me move these force over here. Then we have the other force, which is the 800 Newton force, 800 Newtons. And this one has a direction of 30 degrees with respect to the X axis. And the last force that we have is the frictional force. We have some kinetic friction because we are going to be moving to the right. And if we're moving to the right, that means that the friction will try to counter opposite this movement. Therefore, it's going to go to my left and it's going to go, well, I'm going to call it FF, okay, for force friction. All right, so we know these two forces. We also know the mass of this grid, so therefore we know the weight. And we are going to calculate that, which the weight should be the mass, which is 100 times the acceleration, 9.81 in the metric system. And this should be equal to 981 newtons, okay? So we got newtons. And the last unknowns are my force, frictional force, and my normal force. Now, if we pay attention, my normal force is the only unknown in the y direction. Therefore, if we apply the summatory of forces in the y direction, which is equal to zero, since we're not moving up or down, that means that we can find our normal force. So let's start. We're going to assume that going up is positive. Therefore, we will have negative 800 or the component, the vertical component of 800, which is sine of 30 degrees, times sine of 30 degrees. We'll have negative weight, which is 981 because it's going down. We will have positive 1000, but the Y component is 3 out of 5. And lastly, we have my normal force, and all this should be equal to zero, okay? So if we solve for my normal force, we should have 800 sine of 30 degrees plus 981 minus 1,000 
multiply by three fifths. Okay, and if we plug this into our calculator, therefore our normal force should be equal to, let's check it out, it should be equal to 781 newtons. Okay, so now we found our normal force, and with this normal force, we can relate it to our frictional force, knowing that the frictional force is equal to fun. And by fun, I mean that my frictional force is equal to my coefficient of kinetic friction times my normal force, okay? So if we plug in the values, my uh, kinematic uh, coefficient friction is going to be 0 0.2 multiplied by my normal force, which is 781. And if we plug this into our calculator, we'll be equal to 156.2 newtons, all right? So now we found our two unknowns. And the rest thing that we have to do is that we have to find the distance. And in order to find this distance, we're going to utilize the principles of work and energy, which a state, if we come and we pay attention to our book, the, this gives us this equation, mainly this equation. And um, that means that our initial kinematics plus our work of each force has to be equal to our final kinematics okay now let's recall that these kinematics which are t1 and t2 are basically one half mass times velocity squared okay so let's just start with this equation we're going to utilize this equation going to the right will be our kinematic motion right our velocity since we're sliding to the right so let's just start with that first our initial velocity is equal to zero. Therefore, this T1 is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to have zero. Plus, now we need to do the summatory of all my work, okay? So let's just start with the work and we're looking to the work given that is to my, um, to my right, right? So we're looking for forces times the distance that are, are going in this direction. Therefore, first we're, got, we're going to have 800 cosine of 30 degrees times, which is, this is the, the force, and then times the distance. Well, the distance is what we're trying to find. Therefore, I'm going to put it as S. I'm going to mark it like that. Then the next force we have going to the right is this thousand, but the um, x component of it, the horizontal component, which is 4 over 5 times the distance s. Then we also have minus my frictional force, which is equal to 156.2 times the distance s has to be equal to, so we're done doing all the forces that go apply horizontally has to be equal to my kinematics in my second in my final part so we will have one half the mass which is equal to 100 times the velocity which is equal to 6 square okay so if we solve for s we will find that this is going to be equal to first what i have on the right one half times 100 times 6 square all divided by 800 cosine of 30 degrees plus a thousand multiplied by 4 over 5 minus 156.2 okay and all we have to do now is plug it into our calculator and we'll plug this into our calculator the answer is going to be 1.35 meters okay and this is if we round it up to two decimal places. And we found the answer for our plot. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.